Today, I'm going to introduce you to the real Newton's second law equation. So most of the time, you see Newton's law, second law written like this, f equals ma. And while this isn't incorrect, it is incomplete. So incomplete. What Newton's actual second law is, is that force is the derivative of momentum with respect to time. Okay. And we should remember that momentum is a vector that's comprised of the mass times the velocity. So let's do this derivative of momentum with respect to time. By plugging in our definition for momentum as mv. Now, when we do a derivative, we have to do the derivative of both components. So this is a multiplication. So we have to follow our rules for doing a derivative over things that are multiplied. So we'll take the derivative of the first times the second term plus the derivative of the second term times the first variable. So now this last term will look familiar. So the derivative of velocity with respect to time is acceleration. But now this term might look different to you. So in most of introductory physics, we just assume that the mass of something isn't changing with respect to time. So if this is our real definition of force, Newton's second law, if we assume that dm dt is zero or that the mass isn't changing, then you recover F equals ma. So again, F equals ma is not incorrect, but it might be incomplete if you have a system where the mass of the object is changing. And one of the most famous examples of a system where the mass is changing is a rocket ship. So anytime we're launching rockets off of the surface of the Earth, we are using this extra term in Newton's second law to actually power that rocket. So because if you looked at your rocket ship, We have, if we drew a free body diagram, we've got gravity pulling it down, but we don't have a tension or a spring or anything like that that's making the rocket move upward. So what is this force? So I've drawn my rocket ship so that there's stuff coming out of the back of it. So obviously there's some advanced uh, chemistry and stuff going on where you're uh, burning your fuel, which is probably hydrogen and oxygen that you're combusting. And so it's, it gets more complicated the more you look into it, but at the most basic level is we're just dumping a bunch of mass 
out of the back of this rocket and losing that mass is giving us a force in the upward direction. That's if we use enough fuel, it will be enough to overcome the force of gravity. So this is the real version of Newton's second law and the implications of this added changing mass term is maybe not so important for everyday life, but uh, certainly has some very useful applications. This has been a Dr. Strassbau lecture. Keep the credentials. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications.